here we are with our drama game, How Would You React? Oh my gosh, so much drama. Here are our lesson objectives. Now by the end of the lesson, we aim to achieve these things. One, spontaneously create several different characters in an improvised setting. Two, transform ourselves into this character by changing our voice, face and body. And three, think as that character and you will be able to instantly react as the character would, not how you normally would. And here are the curriculum links for your teachers. They can press pause and have a read of those. Let's get straight on to playing the game. Okay guys, we're gonna start our acting today with a drama game called How Would You React? Now this is a fantastic drama game for developing those basics of performance and going even further than the basics. So, this is how we play How Would You React? You will find a space in the room. Now, when you perform, you need to find your bubble. So what you'll find is that I will often say, you will need to get in a bubble. What I mean by that is you find a space in the room and you just turn around to make sure you're not gonna bump into anyone and then you're ready to go, all right? So in a bubble, you have a bit of space around you. All righty, so that's what I mean when I say find your bubble. So you will find a bubble so you will have a space in the room that is your own and what will happen is the teacher will call out a character. So they might say, you are a granny, action. And as soon as they say action, you have to, in your bubble, staying in your bubble, so not walking around the room, but staying in your bubble, you have to become that character straight away. So a granny, even if you're a boy, you go, what, a granny, I have to be a girl, okay and straight away you become that character. And the way you do that is you change your voice, your face, and your body. You have to change all three, otherwise your character is not convincing. So let's say I was standing in my bubble, and the teacher suddenly said, you are a granny, action. Straight away I would change. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my back, ah, oh, my back is so sore today. Oh, where's my grandchild? I need them to give my back a massage. And I would continue as that character until my teacher says, freeze. Or the teacher might do this. They might ring a bell. If you don't hear them, they might just go, freeze. When you hear that bell, when you hear them say freeze, you need to freeze and stop. Then they're going to say something that has happened to that character. And your job will be to react as your character, not as you, as your character. So at the moment, our character is a granny. So I acted as a granny and my teacher rang the bell and said freeze, so I did. And then they might say, something that's happened to my character. So they might say, you've dropped your glasses. Action. Now as the granny, as my character that I was, I now have to react in the way that that granny would. Now if I, if me, Mrs. Wake, if I dropped my glasses, I'd go, ah, oh, my glasses, silly. And I just pick them up. But a granny can't do that because a granny can't move that fast. I'm young and gorgeous, while a granny is not young and gorgeous and can't move as well as me. So instead, I would have to react like that granny. So if my teacher had said freeze and rang the bell, and then says, you have dropped your glasses, how would you react? Action. Straight away, I'd have to react like that granny would. Oh my glasses, oh no, somebody help me. I dropped my glasses. I can try to bend, oh, oh no, one more try, oh, oh, I can't do it. And I would keep acting until the teacher rings the bell. Then the teacher will give me a different character. So I'll stand in my bubble, and this time the teacher might say, you are a teacher. Action. So they've given me a new character. I'm now a teacher. Now it's up to me. It's my character. So am I going to be a nice teacher? Am I going to be a grumpy teacher? Am I going to be an old teacher, a young teacher? I get to decide. I also get to decide what is my teacher teaching? Am I teaching maths? Am I teaching sport? Am I teaching English? Am I teaching dance? And 
What type of students am I teaching? Am I teaching little kids? Am I teaching older kids? It's my decision, it's my character. But as soon as the teacher goes action, I have to snap into it. So here I am in my bubble, and if the teacher says to me, you are a teacher, action. Straight away I'll become that character. Right, everyone sitting on the mat. Oh, sit on the mat, quiet. Don't you talk on the mat. Right, today I'm going to teach you all about the ABCs and you better listen up, Tyson. Listen, Tyson, behave. And I would keep being that character until my teacher <coughs> rang the bell. So now they've rung the bell, I've frozen. And remember, the teacher will say something that has happened to my character and then I need to react the way my character would react. So I was obviously a nasty teacher, wasn't I? So I have to make sure that when I react to the situation that I'm told, I have to make sure that I react like my nasty teacher would. So I've gone like this and the performing arts teacher has said, something's gonna to happen to my character. So they might say, a child in your class is picking their nose how would you react? Action. And straight away, I have to show how my character would react to that. So, I think my character would go like this, okay? So my teacher says, uh, you're a child in your class is picking their nose, how would you react? Action. And I go, oh, Timmy, get your finger out of your nose. Ah, don't you rub that boogie on the carpet. Go and wash your hands, disgusting child. Right, everyone else, ignore him. Ignore that disgusting child. We're moving on to our ABCs. And I would keep acting until my teacher rang the bell. So that is how you play How Would You React. When you play How Would You React, you get the opportunity to play a lot of different characters in a short space of time, which is fantastic. What's great about this game as well is how you react, how your character reacts, might be different to how the person next to you reacts. And that's fine, that's totally cool. That's what acting is about. You creating your own character, which might be different to everybody else's character. That's what makes this game amazing. So remember, change your voice, face and body. Stay within your bubble. So you should always be talking to imaginary characters in your bubble. You shouldn't be talking to anyone else in your class because they're not in your bubble. You've got to stay in your bubble for how would you react. So that's what you're going to give a crack now. Mm, you're going to rock it. Good luck. And before you go, don't forget to self-reflect. At the end of every lesson, you should always look at your lesson objectives and assess, did you achieve your aims? So pause the video and have a self-assess. Did you achieve them? If you enjoyed this lesson, there are way more music and drama lessons available for you at our YouTube channel, Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts. So be sure to check it out and try some of our other lessons as well. Until we see you again, don't forget all the world's a stage and the stage is yours.